to create a free Gmail account before you can make a Google Doc. Once you have your Gmail account set up, select the little set of boxes here and go to Google Drive. This is where all your documents will be housed. When mine opens, you will see that I already have a number of documents in the system. To create a new Google Doc, I will go to Create, and if I want a document, this is like a Word document, I will click here. This is like PowerPoint. The spreadsheet is, is like Excel. Those are the ones that we will mostly be using within our courses. To create a document, a word processing document, click on document. You will get a new document that looks very much like Word. Go up to your title and give it a name. I'm just going to call it document for the time being. Then you will type on it just like you would type on a Word document. You can create tables the same way you would create a table in a Word document. In fact, it's a little bit easier. You can make that there. When you are this document will save as you go along. When you are finished, you may share the document by clicking on the share button. This gives you a URL. You can copy that and send it to anybody that you would like to share it with. This says that it's now marked private and only I can access it. I can change that and make it so that anyone who has the link can open it or I can make it so that everybody, this is a school account, so I could make it so that everybody within Hawkins could look at it. That's my school. My, I can also say that anybody who looks at it can view it, or I can change that to say they can comment on it, or they can edit it. If you are working with a classmate on a document, you will want to allow them to edit it. If you are just sending something to your teacher, you probably want to allow them to comment on it. Hit save and then put in the email addresses of anybody that you would like to invite to your document. And this will send an email if you have this checkbox selected. You can also add a message to say here is my assignment. You can send a copy to yourself if you would like, or you can check here so that it pastes the assignment within the email that you send. Share and save, and that will send it out. The other thing that you can do when you're finished with the assignment is you can click and download it as a PDF document. In doing this, you will save it to your desktop. and then you can attach it within the assignment section of your course. That is probably the best way to do it if you do not have word processing ability within your computer. Thank you.